Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here, Main Street, USA, entering Disneyland on this final day of the month. And I was here on the first day of this month. Why not be here on the last day of the month? I am at a celebration that they actually do every morning called Rope Drop, where they actually let the throngs of happy tourists through these gates. Of course, the front gate is open about a half hour to an hour early, but they actually have ropes set up all along the perimeter, right next past the partner statue in front of the castle and right over here. Our journey today is actually going to take us into Tomorrowland, and you can actually see there are people on that particular ride right there on the rockets festooning themselves into the stratosphere and happiness and that is because they stayed at one of the resorts and they had the extra magic hours but the normal folk these tourists like you and I are just now entering the park in this celebration known as Disneyland rope drop the music is playing it is beautiful a lot of people have discrepancies on what is the best time to come to the park whether it is in the evening before close or in the morning I think both of them are absolutely fantastic times to arrive at the park because at night all the lights are on the ambiance is very very cool and the crowds are starting to dwindle and go home before park closing but also, let's not forget about the opening ceremonies and the opening of the park. The park is always in pristine addition. All of the cast members are in a happy, joyous mood welcoming you to the park. You can see the castle over there. I wanted to show up here because, when was it? Probably about a week and a half ago, I passed through Kansas City and I did a vlog out of respect out of an homage and out of a promise I made to a friend, he wanted me to film in Kansas City the Moonliner that actually originally was at Tomorrowland. So this is kind of a follow-up video to that video, if you will. There were four Disneyland Moonliners. The original one was over in Tomorrowland, and of course, years later, they removed it. There was a second Moonliner in Kansas City which eventually got kind of neglected and destroyed and then renovated. And then there was the Moonliner 3 that I did a vlog of last week or eight or nine days ago. I can't remember the exact date or the Daily Woo number on that one, but you can just Google the Daily Woo Moonliner and you can see the Moonliner 3, which just so happens to be in Kansas City on the top of a building, the TWA Moonliner. But there is a fourth and final Moonliner that actually resides in Tomorrowland, which is the land where we are heading right now. Did I do my intro? I'm not sure if I did. It's my second channel, Daily Vlog channel. It's the Daily Woo, and please forgive me if I did the intro twice. Sometimes I forget to do the intro. I think yesterday I actually forgot to do the intro, so today I might be making up for it twice, even though I may have only done it once. I do not know. So wandering through Tomorrowland, Straight ahead, in front of us, is the Moonliner 4. So prepare yourself now for the 22 foot tall recreation of the original 70 plus foot tall Moonliner that once was almost in the exact spot. The original Moonliner was actually a little bit shifted over, I think to the right of where the replication Moonliner is. But prepare yourself now for this, shunk -a -gunk -a -gunk -a -gunk. the Moonliner, Disneyland Edition 2.0. Can you see it right there? Can you see it? The Disneyland Moonliner, the fourth Moonliner, but the second Moonliner to ever reside, as far as I can remember, as far as my knowledge takes me, the second Moonliner to actually be in this vicinity of Tomorrowland. Of course, Innoventions over there, they're actually starting to remove Innoventions. Tomorrowland will be getting a whole refurbishment in time, but hopefully the Moonliner 4 stays there. It's kind of one of those things that a lot of Disney nerds, self-proclaimed aficionados, and Disney fans are try having a hard time grasping the concepts that Disney Corporation and Disneyland in general 
will be doing to this entire area. What will happen with interventions? What will happen with Autopia over there? What will happen with the old people mover? What will happen to the theater there that used to actually be Michael Jackson's theater at one time when they actually had Captain EO? That is actually under renovation as well. Of course, Space Mountain, hopefully Space Mountain, will reside for a long time. And I'm really hoping that this rocket right here, can you see the rocket? I'm kind of shattered out, but this rocket still is here. Does anyone know what year they actually put this rocket, the Moon Liner 4? Does anyone know what year they actually put the Moon Liner 4 over here near Pizza Port? And let me tell you, I eat at Pizza Port. I eat at this exact Pizza Port quite often. They have spaghetti and meatballs, and there is something in those meatballs that I love and desire. I have actually frequented this Pizza Port establishment many times. So the next time you're at Disneyland, and you walk over to Tomorrowland, and you get yourself some delicious spaghetti and meatballs approved by me, Adam the Woo, just look up to your left and look at the Disneyland Moonliner 4, the fourth Moonliner in existence and the second Moonliner to reside in Tomorrowland ever. And I think, help me out with this, I think the original Moonliner was right about in this area, kind of maybe where that little circular ball floating on water is between that and between this pillar to the sky in front of Star Traders. Where exactly was the original Moon Liner 1? In your hearts and minds, look up, do some Google research, and help me out by leaving some comments down below. Where was the original Moon Liner? But we now know where the Disneyland 2.0 Moon Liner is, which is right here. The fourth Moon Liner 4, and probably the last Moon Liner of its type, of this caliber, of this size. They actually do have moon liners that are like models that you put together. I'm thinking about maybe getting a Disneyland original moon liner, not moon lighter, a moon liner model. That's very hard to say. Moon liner model. Very hard to say, especially early in the morning like this. So there you go. Of course, the TWA color scheme is still on there. That red and white and the top. Everything looks exactly the same. TWA is not a sponsor of Disney and Disneyland anymore. So the TWA was removed with the original Moonliner and has been replaced on the Disneyland Moonliner 2.0, the fourth Moonliner in existence. And it actually just says Moonliner. And instead of saying TWA, it says Spirit of Refreshment. Coca-Cola has taken over the color scheme because you know also Coca-Cola is also red and white. So why not incorporate the Disneyland Moonliner, get rid of the TWA, bring in Coca-Cola, which is the only soda beverage company that is allowed on Disneyland property or Walt Disney World property. There is no Pepsi, there is no Mountain Dew, there is no Dr. Pepper, if you will. Coca-Cola has taken over for TWA and there is the rocket. All right, so that's about it. Wanted to wander around, wanted to show you Rope Drop. Just so coincidentally happened that we actually saw Rope Drop. I was not here for Rope Drop. I just got here early enough to experience it, which actually brings a lot of joy to my heart because I love Disneyland, not only at night, like I was saying, but also in the morning. The middays are my least favorite times here at the park. I enjoy night times and I enjoy moments like this, and I am glad that you have joined me here in front of this place. And this is also kind of a throwback to about a week ago when I did the, vi the video, a promise to my friend, Jason Craig, 66 Hellride. So once again, 66 Hellride, Jason Craig, this goes out to you, buddy. Check it out. The Moonliner 4. Pretty awesome. I'll see you guys later.